So party discipline is uh, where I get to vote for an MP and then somebody else tells my representative how to vote. And if that doesn't sound like democracy, is it's because it isn't. So once again, you don't live in a democracy in Canada. You have no power in the system. You can elect a representative, but that representative doesn't represent you. So for example, in Bill C-51, if your party representative, your MP, says, uh, the people in my constituency don't support this, so I'm voting against it, he'll find himself out of the party. He'll be kicked out. Um, and in order for your member of parliament to get elected, he has to belong to a political party. There's no way to get elected in Canada without being part of a political party. Um, theoretically, independents can run, and um, they have run in the past, and some have even been elected. But overwhelmingly, the majority, and throughout the history of Canada, independent members of parliament have have never succeeded and even if they did they wind up in the opposition where again they have uh, limited power to represent you. So that then brings us to the party system and how that whole system works. They have the money that it requires to get elected in Canada and that money comes from somewhere else it doesn't come from you and me so whoever is paying that money expects to be rewarded and it's not like this is anything new party discipline was brought in in the second parliament of canada the first parliament sir john a Macdonald got into a whole bunch of problems with the pacific scandal and that's where he was taking bribes or the party was taking bribes from the people who wanted to build the Canadian Pacific Railroad. <clears throat> so, MacDonald offered his resignation and the party said to him, no, you can't resign and we will make sure that the MPs support you. And they brought in party discipline. So party discipline has been a feature of Canadian politics since the second parliament in Canada. The elected dictatorship part of it, I think, is a fairly accurate representation. And the question you have to ask yourself is, why would my member of parliament, why would my representative vote how somebody else tells him how to vote? And the answer to that is big money, because it takes big money to get somebody elected in Canada. It takes a lot of money to get a politician elected. So most independents, um, never get elected. There are very few independents that have ever been elected in Canada and the reason is is because it takes a lot of money to run a political campaign. So if your member of parliament wants to get elected he has to be a part of the party and that's why you'll see in your ballot box when you go in to vote the names of the political parties that these people represent. Now they're supposed to represent you but they wind up representing the political party. That's just party discipline. You do this or you don't get to be a cabinet minister, we're not going to get you elected again. You have uh, no real choice in the matter if you want to serve the people as a member of parliament. There's no other way to do it other than through the political party. Which kind of begs the question is what are political parties? What are these things? And here's a startling statistic, 98% of Canadians don't belong to a political party, which means that less, and it's actually probably less than that, but less than 2% of Canadians belong to a political party. So these political parties are basically clubs that, that are, are there to get people elected. Now the people in the club are typically older, wealthier individuals. So you've got old, wealthy individuals that have a club that get people elected with corporate money. If that doesn't sound like democracy, I would tend to agree with you. It isn't really anything approaching democracy. In this system, the only power that you have is that every four years, you get to kick out somebody if you don't like what they did. 
In other words, after they spent your money, after the damage is done, you get to kick them out. And if that doesn't sound like a democracy again, you're right. It isn't a democracy. It's a lie. It's a fairy tale. It's um, bedtime stories. It's uh, something that somebody tells you to make you feel good about how you're governed. I, I don't know what it is actually, but something along those lines. I'm Alan Finney and thanks for watching.